this is Janine Scott from Passionately Sewn Designs and today I just want to give you a quick tip on how I stabilize my shoulder seams um, particularly for knit fabrics um, it's the one place where there's a lot of um, pressure um, where it sits on the shoulder so I find that you do need to stabilize those to stop them stretching um, out of whack so all I do is I pin my two shoulder seams together, right sides together as we normally would and I get my clear elastic. Now I like to use the one that's six millimeters wide and I have pre-cut this one. Um, but the trick to when you use your clear elastic to, um, is to have it about an inch longer than what you're actually going to be sewing because it just makes it easier. Uh, sometimes when we sew from starting from the end that'll just buckle up. So I like to start off with having it about an inch longer then what I'm going to be sewing and uh, it's super easy. Now let's go to the machine and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're at our sewing machine. So what I'm going to do is slide my shoulder seam underneath my needle and as you can see I'm actually not going to start right at the edge of my fabric here. I'm just going to come a little bit in. I find this is the easiest way to actually sew particularly with knit fabric because when you start that knit fabric sometimes that can actually um, just dig into the back where the needle is coming down it makes it really difficult so once I have that place there I'm going to place my clear elastic underneath my needle and I am going to have it just coming out the back a little bit so it actually gives me something to hold and that's what helps you to actually guide that bit of clear plastic through okay so I actually have hold of it at the back there so now I'm going to put my needle down my presser foot down and you can see where the actual clear elastic is going to come out and I'm going to sew right along the middle of it. So where we start I'm going to do a little fixed stitch, that's what my machine does. And I see I'm stitching right on the top of that elastic, take my pin out. But then once I finish that I'm actually going to reverse. So we have the rest of that seam done and what does that do? It stops that, that issue of it just digging down in there. And then once I go back to going forward, beautiful. So you can see this is my half inch seam mark which I'm actually going to sew and have that lined up against and I'm just going to hold that clear elastic there, keeping it underneath the middle, keep sewing, keep sewing down all the way to the end. I'm not stretching that clear elastic, I'm just holding it there to keep it under the middle of my needle and I'm just sewing that down, taking that pin out, watching my seam allowance, sewing that all the way to the end. And once we get to the end, I'll just sign that all the way down. Um, as I said, I, I like the 6mm one. It's great for stabilising your shoulder seams. So I'm all the way down to the end. Take my pin out at the end. A little bit of a back stitch there. Through my scissors. And then once we do, when we finish to the end there, then I just take my scissors and I'll trim off that flush to the edge and that's done and do the same with the other side and there I have my clear elastic sewn into my shoulder seam super simple all in one step and it's now got a little bit of stretch as you can see I can stretch that out but it's stabilized as well so I hope you like my quick tip um, and happy creating mm -hmm.